How's it going guys? So in today's quick tip video, I wanted to show you a really simple trick to be able to control a bunch of lights at once. A lot of times if you're working with lights and need a bunch of them in one scene and they're all the same brightness, they're all the same color, a lot of times you'll set it up and then if you wanna change them, you have to individually click those lights to change them. That's one thing um, I've run into a couple times. Well, I figured out one trick that really helps you. So we have this sort of corridor scene here and let me show you if I click on the uh, just simple area light, this uh, changes right here. So if I just go with a different color, they're all changing. Uh, we can even go with that scale, bring it all the way down. So how did I do that with the, all these objects? Um, all these lights are very, are different. They're not, you know, in a way solidified together. Well, let's go ahead and delete all these lights and show you how I did it. So if we look at this render here, we have this one, uh, this one light right here. Now you might say, hey, why are you adding a light if there's those lights up here? Well, those are mesh lights. When it comes to EV, they don't really react the same way as they would in cycles. So you would have to add in your own blender area lights. So we have this one light here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit Shift D to show you um, the wrong way to do it. So if, you, if I hit Shift D, which just makes a duplicate piece, if I change the color, it's now a different light. It's not, um, it's not the same light and it doesn't control both of them at the same time. So the opposite way to do it is to hit Alt D. We have that. If you bring it over here and then I change the color, boom, they both react the same. What Alt D does is create a uh, instance of that light. What it does, it's, it's making a duplicate, but it is the same exact light here. It's just a duplicate of it. Um, I'm, <laughs> that's sort of my best way that I can try to explain it. Maybe you guys can explain it better in the comments, but it's making a duplicate of this, but it's the same guy, it's a clone. It's sort of like making a clone, I think that's a better way to say it. So what you can do now is just go ahead and you can highlight both of these if I can here. And then I'm gonna hit Alt D, duplicate it. And then I'm gonna move it down the line to these lights here. And then you can do that over and over again, all the way down the line for the rest of these lights. And what you're gonna do is gonna be able to have um, all of these lights together, controlled together, and it's an easy way to have more control over your scene. Now there are some limitations to this. If you want to animate them separately blinking, that's not gonna work, unfortunately. But if you're designing a scene where all the lights are static or all the same color, same brightness, this is a really quick way to have some more control. Thank you guys for checking that out. I hope you learned some stuff. I want to take a minute and talk about something that I just launched that I'm super excited about. It's called the Real-Time Materials. It's a pack of 150 procedural materials that are made to be rendered fast and speed up your workflow. Let me show it to you. So say you have a scene something like this, and I'm gonna hop on over into Eevee and kind of show you how this works. So I'm gonna hit Shift A, and once you uh, install the zip file that comes with the pack, you'll be able to play with this. So say I wanna get something kind of weird but beautiful, we can add this material right here and the materials work in both render engines and they look really great in both engines. And so say I can change this base color to something, uh, maybe something green. Now we have something really cool like that, but we can also do a bunch of other stuff. Let's head over to the paint and try out uh, paint number 10. We can kind of zoom in and you can see all these little imperfections and things like that. And everything you see is editable within these right here, including this color. We can change the color to a green like this or maybe a dark blue. But again, all this roughness, all these points are super editable here. Now, if you wanna edit them, I designed these to be really quickly rendered in Eevee so you can play with editing all these parameters here. Um, let's see, play with the scale, kind of mess with those gashes, play with the scale here, mess with some of the size of that. And then also here, you can really mess with that roughness. So they render super fast, they preview super fast. A lot of procedural materials can really put a damper on your renders. These are meant to be super quick, super fun. And you can go in and just change all types of stuff. Say right here, I wanna go Shift A and get one of these surfaces that adds these nice imperfections. Add to that, boom, really quickly. Now you can start shading a bunch of cool stuff. So you can go ahead and grab that. It's linked in the description. Again, thank you guys for checking out the tutorial and I will see you in the next video.